gradual change. It is hard to see. And I found out this weekend how hard it is to see because it can go both ways. It can gradually change to be better. It can gradually change to be worse. But if you're not paying attention, you won't see it. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 272. I'm your host, Matt Plapp. We're brought to you by America's Best Restaurants. America's Best Restaurants is on a path to help you, independent restaurant owners, find more frequent customers because infrequent customers don't pay the damn bills. And unfortunately, they count for way too much of your business every day. There's not much I do around my house, and I say that with pride and honor because I'm not a handyman. I don't enjoy it. And to be quite honest with you, as I've gotten older, I've realized that my time is way more valuable when used to the good of growing the business or my life versus hammering something into a wall. But there is one pastime that I have that I enjoy, and that is pressure spraying. I think it's because you can see the progress. To me, it's kind of satisfying that when I'm pressure spraying the sidewalk or the street in front of our house or the driveway or pool deck, that you can just see the lines of dirt moving away. So with that, this past two weeks, I've been pressure spraying, and I was pretty happy. My wife accidentally broke our pressure sprayer last year and then accidentally bought a better one. She thought she bought the same thing. We had an electric one, which was kind of weenie. And then she bought a gas one. And this gas one, it's a Husqvarna, is badass. So she buys it, comes in. I knock out some stuff last week. And then this weekend, we did a bunch of pool stuff. We have a pool, a patio around the pool, underneath our deck next to the pool, next to the hot tub, off the kitchen, or the basement. We have a lot of concrete. And then we have this awesome rock path that goes down a hill and winds like an S-curve, I guess you could say, across a creek. I mean, these are stones the size of a desk. Well, it was interesting what happened. That's why I labeled the title of this podcast, Gradual Change is Hard to See. And I'm going to bring this in a big circle at the end, but I'm going to tell you the story. And you can check my Facebook and Instagram out to see the pictures that are going to tell this story more than my vis- my words here. The visual is going to paint a picture v- more than this. So I'm up there almost done with the pool deck. And she's like, hey, come here. She was down working on the, what do they call that stuff? Pine straw. She puts pine straw down in the beds. These giant mulch beds. She's like, can you spray these two rocks off for me? They're pretty dirty. I'm like, okay. Now this might be a dumb statement because I'm not Mr. What do they call it? Green thumb. I'm not the landscaping guy. But it never really occurred to me to pressure spray over the past seven years these rocks and boulders and stones that lead down this awesome path. It was actually one of the reasons I loved our house when we bought it, because you'll see it's pretty cool. And I think it's probably a 50-foot path, maybe, all in all. And it's got steps that go down, then it's got rocks that stack up like a wall around it, then it's got a couple boulders. And so... She asked me to go spray these two off. And so I walk down, and as I go to step on the first big stone, I've got no shoes on. It's a little slippery, and I can tell that the stone has got some, you know, some dirt on it, some moss. And I look down, and the picture actually makes it worse than I think it was that I'm going to put on Facebook and Instagram. But it is what it is. So I look at it. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and spray these off. This, this looks a little dirty. So my wife walks away and I start spraying this first rock and I'm not lying when I say it went from yellowish gray to bright yellow. And I'm like, what? And so I go to the next stone and I put a line down that one and I'm like, oh my goodness. I said, Christy, come here. And she comes walking over. She sees it. And I'm like, wow, I, I don't know how these got this dirty. I don't recall it. And her and I were talking about it because I went on for the next four hours to pressure spray the tops, the sides, the edges of every damn stone on that path. And it looks unbelievable. And her and I were talking about it, that just the gradual nature of it getting dirty. 
And for me, like, I don't picture these as the concrete we're on. These are stones. They're Mother Nature. Maybe they wash themselves. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. But it's just the gradual nature of it is that we moved in this house February of 2016. So here we are. I guess that's, what, seven years later that I've never pressure sprayed these, but I've pressure sprayed the patio once or twice a year in the driveway and sidewalk. I always just would spray these things off with a hose. So after the break, I'm going to talk about this with regards to business, with regards to your restaurant's sales, with regards to inside your four walls, maybe your actual walls in your restaurant. Because gradual change is hard to see. And as I learned this past weekend, it can get really out of control if you don't pay attention. We interrupt this programming for a brief announcement from our sponsor. Hey, it's Matt. Okay, there's no sponsor here. Just us. We don't have advertising in our podcast. It's just us dropping value to help you build the ultimate marketing plan for your restaurant. But I want you to take advantage of something. We have our America's Best Restaurants University. Yes, it's not actually a university. It's an online training but it is a great place for you to learn how to market your restaurant at a high level and join our community online and in our Facebook group. Go to abru.online slash free. abru.online slash free. Join the ABR University and let us help you get to the next level. Now back to the show. I see this playing out a few different ways in business. Number one, I see it from the actual physical side, the exact thing that happened to these stones at my house and me and my wife not seeing what was happening and accepting what we were seeing because I've been to a lot of restaurants where I notice stuff and the owner's like, I've never noticed that. Well, it's not that he never noticed it. It's that he or she has walked by it thousands of times over the past 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And so you don't know the notice the gradual change. I'm actually flying tomorrow to Las Vegas for David Scott Peters Restaurant Transformation Seminar. And he's going to cover a lot of things in this seminar that help restaurant owners not have that happen. How to properly build checklists inside your restaurant to open and close the business, to clean the restrooms, to clean the kitchen. All these little things that if done very systematically, you won't turn around in five years and have gray stones instead of yellow. You'll have the yellow stones all the time. Now, this can go the other way, too, because when you look at the business side of it, I hear clients all the time say, Matt, what is the expected return on this advertising spend? If we spend $50,000 a year, what's it going to do to our sales? Well, it's a two-pronged question. Number one, what have you not done to gradually get you in a place where your sales suck or aren't what they should be? What have you not done from a marketing standpoint to get you to a point that's going to have to be built back up because it's not as easy as a four-hour pressure washing when it comes to rebuilding a brand and a marketing campaign over the long term. And then the other side of it is how long will it take and will you notice the gradual bumps? If I had a, if I had a dime for every time a restaurant owner told me, Matt, it's been six months and our our sales are down 3%, so your program's obviously not working or this marketing campaign's not working. And it's like, okay, what if you were going to be down 5% instead of 3 What if you're going to be down 20% instead of 3 I had a restaurant recently tell me they were up 8% at one store and another store was up 20%. And the store that we were working with, because we didn't do both, was the one up 8 So your program's costing me 12 points. I'm like, are you serious? You don't think there's anything else to, at play here? You don't think maybe there could be a staff issue? Maybe there could be something with the store? Maybe that store might be down 8% versus up 8% without us, without our help. The problem is gradual change is hard to see. We've had clients of ours, you know, one of them, Buffalo Bob's, just celebrated his one-year anniversary about a month ago. It's a, fa- a, ca- a casual dining, buffalo, con- buffalo wing concept here in Northern Kentucky. 
I've been going there since I was, you know, I guess technically in college. It was a Buffalo Wings rings back then. And I remember last year, he had been a client for about a month. And now I guess it was 45 days. We had 45 days as he was in. I remember that because it was a 45-day trial. We did a special promotion. We did limited. And I walked in and he's like, Matt, we're up 18% since starting with you guys. The only change we made in our entire company was you guys. And we are up 18% month over month. Now, I love the fact that he was up. Was that 18% all of us? Probably not. Let's just say 9% maybe was us and 4.5% might have been better weather this year versus the prior month or last year. There's a lot of variables there. But in that instance, he did make a change. He did see massive activity early on. It did lead to some success early on. But you've got to be willing to accept that you've got to, you're going to have gradual change. That it's not going to all happen like The Rock did. And I say The Rock, not The Rock. I mean The Rock in my backyard. You've got to be willing to, number one, address the negative like I did with this rock. And number two, you've got to be willing to accept that, hey, I've been doing something for so long that I've gotten to a point. I've got to do the opposite for so long to get to that point. I had a client the other day tell me, Matt, I realize it's going to take me two to three years of doing what you preach to get to the point that I'm going to, that I'm happy with, that I am striving to get to. And he understands that because he knows the path he went down for a few years with some business partners that took the business to a different place. So do this. Go to Facebook. Go to Instagram. Look up Matt Platt. Find my business pages. And check out these two different pictures of our path. And ask yourself, is there gradual change happening in my business that I'm not paying attention to like I wasn't with The Rock? And am I willing to accept small incremental gradual changes when I make changes to go the other way? That's all I got. Talk to you next time. So as you know, I don't charge for my content. We don't have sponsors. We don't have product placement in here. But what I want your help with is spreading the word. If you're finding value here, do me a favor. Share this on your social media. Share an episode with something that made sense to you, that's relevant to your restaurant, that you got value from, and tag Matt Plapp and America's Best Restaurants. Also, go to America's Best Restaurants on Facebook and on Google and leave us a review. Let us know the impact we've had on your restaurant with our roadshow, with our marketing help, or with our podcast. And last but not least, if you want to take the next step and help me out a lot and help us out a lot, text me a testimonial, 859-743-2408. That's my cell. A selfie video would be awesome about the impact this content or our company is having on your independent restaurant. But worst case scenario, just a few kind words. The way we can help lift this industry up is to help get content like this to more independent restaurant owners, and you are the key to spreading the word. I appreciate your support. Have an amazing day.